Ready. Play. Congratulations on your opening match win. Can you describe your thoughts after the match? Yeah, I'm very pleased to have got through that match. It was, I think, a difficult one because Angie is just such an experienced player. She's achieved so much and also I'm pretty sure won this tournament multiple times, but at least once. And uh, it's obviously playing in Germany, so, you know, she's, she's the home favourite, but I was really pleased actually with the support I got out there today. There were a few chants and some kids' voices, which was really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I think it was a little bit different to last week where the crowd was like 200% against me, but it was um, it was a, a fun atmosphere to play in and especially going on late, there was still a really good crowd. Congrats, Emma, and welcome to Sh back to Stuttgart. Um, you said after the, the two tough wins uh, over the weekend that you felt like you were in some of the best form uh, of your career, and I'm just kind of curious, what is it right now about your tennis that you're particularly so kind of high about in terms of how you're feeling on the court? Yeah, I think I've just been doing a lot of great training this year, and uh, it's, I probably started actually training this year because in December it was more just returning to fitness um, after obviously the surgeries and I think uh, my serve is more of a weapon now. I think the last weekend I played some great tennis. Um, obviously it wasn't a lot much time to turn over since last weekend so uh, yeah going back up again tomorrow it's gonna it's more just a challenge of the body I say but um, I think I'm, I'm mentally in a good place. I'm taking a lot of confidence from the training I'm doing um, and I feel like I can actually like lean on that more so now because I'm actually doing the work, whereas uh, last year it was very difficult. I mean, exactly a year ago, I think it was my last match before surgery. So it's a bit of a milestone moment for me and I just feel like um, I've, yeah, come a long way in that year. I think by my maths, it's eight wins, five losses this year. So some pretty good tennis and it's been seemingly getting better. Is it possible or fair to say this is kind of the best moment for Emma Raducanu since the US Open? Yeah, it is. I think um, I'm not, you know, I know this week is obviously a challenge for me because like I would be lying if I said I wasn't tired, but I would way rather be in this position where I've played a lot of matches and I'm feeling fatigued than being super fresh and losing. So uh, it's it's funny because you always want something that you can't have. Um, but I, I am playing some really good tennis. I feel like I'm a lot more dominant in my service games. Um, I feel like it is some, I'm playing like level wise. I knew it before I went to Fed Cup even like training. I was, I was playing really well. And I think everyone that I was practicing with can attest to that too. So, um, yeah, it is. I think it's a combination of doing actual good practice weeks, doing the right things. Um, I'm really enjoying working with Nick, my coach. Um, it's great to have a familiar face, but I also think we're, we're just working really well together as a team. Uh, what do you expect from Linda Naskova next round? Have you ever played against her? Yeah, I played her, I think, two years ago in Paris. It was completely different conditions though. It was very slow and heavy. So it's going to be a different match tomorrow. Um, but yeah, she's a big hitter, big ball striker, aggressive tennis. So, I mean, I don't expect very long points, but um, yeah, it's going to be a good match. Uh, I just have a question about what you said at the end of the match on court, because I felt like you weren't really uh, too much too happy with the level you have today, so I'm. I wasn't. I was. I was gonna ask basically a clarification if, if I get if I got it wrong or if there was something that you felt you could you could have been better today. No, I think it's all relative. I think you're not gonna come out every day and play lights out amazing tennis. I think today I handled the situation extremely well. Um, I stayed very composed. Um, it's really difficult to play Angie. I mean, you know, like. At any moment, she can just turn it on and, and battle. And in the first set, at the beginning, we had some really long rallies. In the second set, we had some really long games. Um, I just remember, you know, so many long juice games. And even though the score was 6-2, 6-1, it was a lot tighter in the game. So um, I did really well in the crucial moments. But 
I'm very like I'm very happy with the way I pulled through today and just yeah the way I was able to overcome an opponent like Angie. And Emma just on the clay you performed pretty consistently well on clay maybe not necessarily results wise but the level that you play um, and the way that you kind of employ your game on the surface seems probably a little bit more natural than maybe people might think that you would. And I'm kind of curious, is that how you feel on the surface? And what do you think it is about clay that does bring out, you know, a good a good quality of tennis in you? Yeah, I think it's a combination. I think it's one, low expectations. So you go out there, you're like, okay, uh, we have like two, three clay courts in Great Britain that we can use maybe and uh, practice on it for two weeks. Like, hey, let's give it a go. So it's, it's a combination of that, but it's also, I think since a young age, I always love moving on this surface. Um, I love sliding. I feel like I'm pretty good at sliding on both legs, which is a strength. And uh, I think the, the fitter I get and the more you know clean my technique gets, the more I'm able to kind of stay in the longer points and generate from further back. Whereas I feel like maybe before I was having to, you know, hug the baseline, play a hard court game on, on clay as well. and. Uh, doesn't it works sometimes but it doesn't always work i feel like i'm developing more versatility in the way i play i can adjust um, i can adapt and uh, that's a big strength because yeah certain things i would say you get you get into a match and, and they don't work from the initial plan so you have to change something and you can completely switch the dynamics of a match sometimes not all the time but um yeah it just helps with that and then today you only hit 11 of four stairs on the stat sheet, 26 winners. Really? Uh, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> it seems like you think that you were missing more than maybe you were, I don't know. But, but when you are playing that well, I mean, that's an incredible ratio to have 26 winners to 11 of fours. Um, what do you credit that to? Is it decision making? Is it picking the right targets? Is it patience? Like in terms of being able to play aggressively, but not be missing? Yeah, I think especially when you're playing um, Angie, who I think is pretty well known as a counter puncher, you need to be really careful not to overpress because, you know, she makes the court seem really small. Um, there were moments in that match where I didn't really know where to hit the ball because I felt like she was covering so much of the court and she was using my pace really well. Um, I think just not trying to squeeze the lines too much and, and kind of just playing the shot and almost not trying to hit winners and accidental winners I feel like are the best way because I wasn't today trying to blast winners around the court. I was just committing to my strokes and, and would hit winners by accident sometimes. So I feel like that's the best way to approach it because then you're not getting stressed out. It's just a pleasant surprise when it happens. Last question. Okay. Can you tell us a bit more about um, the coaching thing with Nick? Because I think it's someone you worked with when you were much younger and now he's back. Um, Elaborate on that would be great. Yeah, I I feel very comfortable working with him. Um, I've known him since I was a young age, so it's some he's someone who I feel like I can trust, and and that's a big thing for me. I think just having people who I who I know before I would say I got famous or I got you know any of the any of the big you know whatever coming my way, and it's just good to have someone who's known me before that. So. You know that their intentions uh, are good and uh, they didn't just come and you know after the win and when everything is easy to just come and join so it's it's a nice feeling and also I feel like he's known me since a young age he knows pretty well how I operate and um, I would I would say I haven't changed at all since I was like eight nine um, but everything around me has changed but it's mentally I feel like I'm the exact same person but um, yeah, we've obviously been doing great work this year and it's starting to show, but the training weeks we've been doing since the start, it's just been slowly building and building and um, whenever it all comes together, I think like big things will happen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.